make sure that's Okay, good afternoon. Uh, today is June 12th of 2020. My name is Raymond, the Director of Education here at Mondica International Play School. Uh, first off, thank you for watching our another episode of our Parent Info session. Um, today's topic is Mathematics uh, Part 2, which is a continuation from the one we have last week. Uh, this week, we're also, uh, we have Ms. <laughs> Shamlina here, who's our AMI Directress here. Um, she's going to be demonstrating some of uh, the materials that we have uh, and that we're going to be talking about today to you. Okay, so last week we focused on um, the fundamental and the concepts of uh, what math is in Montessori. Uh, we talked about a lot uh, of the math that we do here compared to a conventional system per se. Uh, the material that we showed last week was the golden beads, uh, so which are just a quick recap, these ones here, right? So this is 100, where there's 10 strings of ones, okay? Uh, so today we're gonna be showing you uh, some different materials specifically to do with uh, very, very specific topics as well. Um, and we're gonna talk about how unique it is in Montessori that we use these uh, materials in our classroom, okay? Um, so the first activity, uh, what we uh, call in the Montessori classroom, is actually called the stamp game. Now, there's not exactly uh, necessarily have to be a game, but it's more, uh, more so an activity. Um, this activity is uh, presented when the child has a solid grasp on um, concrete values yes. of uh, place values. Okay, uh, it brings a more abstract concept. Uh, to, to, to reality now, uh, especially in terms of basic operations such as uh, addition, subtraction, um, multiplication, division, okay? The benefits of this stamp game is to bring these uh, abstract concepts, so they're not just numbers anymore, uh, to, an in, to an environment such as a Montessori classroom to, to demonstrate these operations in concrete materials. So, um, so Ms. Shemlina is going to uh, show you a quick demonstration of how to use the STEM game in the classroom. All right. So by now, uh, the child will be able to recognize the golden bead materials. So the units, the tens, the hundreds, and thousands. So today we are going to make an association. Okay, so first I would get the unit bead and I will use the stamp game and make an association. So this is one and this is also one. This is 10 and this is also 10. This is 100. This is also 100. Thousand. Thousand. So once the child has made that connection, we introduce the box of stamps. So this is the stamp game. And then we introduce the four operations. There we go. And using this box, uh, we can introduce all four operations of mathematics. And today I have prepared a presentation to work on addition. So first the child will write the combinations. So we have two <coughs> combinations, 4,251, 3,212. All right. So first we need to get the stamps. I can hold up the sheet for you. Okay. So they can All right. see the numbers. So the first number we need to get four thousands. So 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and 
4,000. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, and the next number is we need to get two hundreds. One hundred, two hundred. Okay, and next we need to get five tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens. Okay, so we have our tens. Okay, and lastly, we need to get one unit. Okay, so now I have my number, my first number. I have four thousands, two hundreds, five tens, and one unit. Okay, now we're going to leave a little gap for the next number. It's a new number, so we need to leave a little bit room here, and then we are going to make the next number. So we need three thousands. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand. All right, and then we need two hundreds. One hundred, two hundred. Okay, and then we need one ten. And lastly, we need two units. All right, so now we have all, all numbers together. We have four thousands. Two hundreds, five tens, and one unit. And our second number, we have three thousands, two hundreds, one ten, and two units. Now we are going to put all of these numbers together. All right. So starting from the units, we are going to bring all the units together. Okay. So let's get started. Okay, so all our numbers are back together. Okay, so now we are going to start counting and we are going to write our numbers. So when we put all the units together, we have one unit, two units, three units. So then you write the number three. Okay, let's see how many tens we have. We have one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, Five tens, six tens. So then you write the number six. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. Then you write number four. And then you have lastly one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand. And then you lastly write number seven, seven thousands. Okay. So before we had two small numbers and then we put it all together and we got a big number. We got 7,463. So this is how we do addition static using the stamp game.
Thank you, Ms. Shalina. So um, that's basically our uh, stamp game activity, and it teaches uh, our children how to do static addition, like Ms. Shalina said. It also works uh, with subtraction, yes. uh, multiplication, division as well. Okay. Our next topic is actually going to be the next operation uh, that's very important in, uh, in our operations of mathematics, which is multiplication. Um, there's so many ways to do multiplication, and, and we've seen uh, different methods of doing it. And I think it's fair to say one of the ways that we, uh, at least myself growing up, um, the most effective way for me, at least, was to sort of memorize a, a multiplication table of sort. Um, but that's very focused towards uh, memorization. You memorize uh, the different types of uh, multiplication, and so you, you automatically know that 9 times 7 will always be 63 kind of thing. Um, but it's not, we don't know why. We don't know why it's 63 un, un, until further on. Uh, at that time, it was just memorize 9 times 7 is 63, uh, and we don't know how. So uh, in our next materials, uh, we want to show you is a multiplication board. Uh, so we use the beads, just like the ones I showed you last week, kind of. Um, and it provides a more visual and concrete uh, overall more attractive system than just looking at a table of numbers and to memorize. This activity, uh, the, one of the other benefits is it also focuses a lot on fine motor skills as they have to pick up the beads and such. Um, so it's a more interactive way. Uh, I think one of the quotes from Dr. Montessori, mm -hmm. uh, what the hand does, the mind remembers. Okay, so this is definitely a very good example to show that. Uh, so Michelina is going to show you the multiplication board. Okay, all right. Okay, so this is the multiplication bead board. All right, so we have numbers from 1 to 10. And we have a little counter that's going to help us. And we also have a box. And it has these little slips. Okay, that's the card of 2. And we have cards up to 1. And then lastly, we have the card of 10. So 1 to 10, we have the cards as well. And then you also have beads. So these beads are going to help you do your multiplication table. Oops. Right? Okay. So I have prepared the table of 2 today. So this is the table we are going to work on today. Right? For this activity, you will need a little bowl because we are going to count into the bowl. Thank you. All right. So first I need to put the card of 2 into this little slot here. So it's going to look like this. So the child can see 2. Okay, so let's read the first table. So we have 2 taken one time. So you have to remind the child that you can put only 2 beads into the bowl at every time. So let's see, I'm going to count two beads into the bowl. One, two. So I have two beads here. Okay, it's hard to see from this angle, but mm -hmm. uh, essentially you can see two beads two in there. Two beads, yeah. And then I need to place the counter over one, like this. Maybe one more. Oh. Yeah. Maybe for the counter as well. Yeah. Okay. So we're just trying to work with the angle here because mm. uh, the beads will fall off at this angle. So the counter as well. Okay. All right. There we go. So oh. two taken one time is one two. So you need to write two on your paper. Okay, so the next one is two taken two time. So you need to put two beads back into the bowl. So I'm going to grab two beads and then we're going to place it. And now you need to move your counter. All right. 
So, two taken two times is one, two, three, four. So, you need to write four on the paper. Alright, so let's just do one more. You need to put two beads into your bowl. So the next one is two taken three times. So two taken three times is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is how we do the modification bead board. Thank you, Ms. Janina. Yeah. So this is a, a good example of uh, showing you how to do um, multiplication in a Montessori way. It's more visual, it's more concrete. Children get to actually feel the beads, count the beads on their own. Uh, so instead of just looking at just numbers, they can actually use the materials to have a more um, visual or visual concept of uh, what they're doing. So. Uh, Last but not least, I want to talk about another operation which we call subtraction. Right? As we know, uh, subtraction is very common that we use every day in our lives. Yeah. And um, we've heard many times about terms such as um, if you don't have enough to subtract, borrow it from the next digit. Right? Uh, what does that really mean? Um, for, for a child to be able to understand the concept of borrowing from another number, uh, it's an incredibly difficult. So there's no doubt exactly what you would do, but how do we make sure that the child understands the abstract of borrowing from another number, right? So we use a material called subtraction charts, which uh, in Montessori, it gives a visual presentation of what is really happening. It explains that there is a pattern in mathematics, in subtraction, in actually all operations, there is a pattern. So once they're able to explore it on themselves, they use their own hands to actually visually move on the subtraction chart. So Ms. Shalina is going to show you an example of the material we call the subtraction chart. Okay. Yeah. okay, so this is the subtraction chart. Yeah. Okay, that's a subtraction chart. Okay, so the red squares and the blue squares. So we always take away from the red squares. Okay, so I'll just show you how to do the activity. Let me show yeah. you a close up of what yeah. the subtraction board looks like. So as you can see, the red squares and the blue squares are all labeled with numbers already. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll hold it up for you. Okay, and then we have a little box with some chits. So the child can just choose one chit and read it. All right. So this chit says, okay, 12. From 12, we are going to take away 5. So he has to write it on his, on his paper. Once he gets the chit, he needs to write it down first. Okay, and then now we're going to keep our fingers accordingly. Okay, so you're going to keep your right hand over here. And then we're going to take away 5. So 5 is over here. So you first have to move the blue. Okay, where the blue finger is, you're going to move it. So I'm going to move it over here. And then you're going to align it with the red. And you're going to open it. 7. So from 12, you take away 5. And you have seven. So then you need to write seven. On your paper. Okay, so that's how we do subtraction using the charts. Okay. So uh, thank you, Ms. Janina. Yeah, so huh? those are the three materials that we wanted to show you for today's uh, parent seminar uh, to conclude our uh, mathematics seminars yeah. part two. Uh, of course, there are many more materials that we have at Montego International Play School. We do have full sets of um, uh, authentic Montessori materials here, uh, in including things uh, in materials to do with fractions, 
uh, spatial relationships, and a lot more. And this is all up to uh, six years old, which is uh, K3. All right. So this builds a very strong fundamental base towards mathematics in the future when they learn um, in the primary grades or secondary grades or even higher up, uh, especially in a competitive uh, academic focused market mm -hmm. such as Hong Kong as well. Um, next week, we are going to be talking about grace and courtesy, which is another uh, strong cor cornerstone of our Montessori theory and Montessori education in general. Uh, it discusses uh, about socialization, manners, etiquette, the Montessori way. So uh, once again, remember to follow our Facebook and Instagram uh, pages for news updates and promotions. Um, so quick friendly reminders, uh, our summer camp is ready for enrollment. Uh, spaces are limited, they're filling up. Uh, our first round of cooking class actually starts yeah. tomorrow. So we're very excited about that. Um, our Saturday classes have resumed. And uh, so I'll book your free trial with us uh, as soon as you can. Uh, always, uh, just so, so, as always, contact us for more details. Uh, again, my name is uh, Raymond Ng, the Director of Education here. I uh, have Ms. Shalina here, who is our AMI Directress. Um, so besides that, have a good weekend and we'll see you next week.